As we deploy robots like the PR2, we will need to have good interfaces for controlling them remotely. In this study, we wanted to enumerate and quantify difficulties people had when using Arviz, a 3D interface for robotics. An example of the teleoperation interface is shown here. On the left side, the user can see a view from a camera on the PR2's head. On the right side, the user can see a 3D model of the robot and a point cloud representation of the world in front. The user can move the robot's grippers by dragging on the arrows. In our study, we had 12 participants use the interface to make the robot pick up objects on a table and put them into a box. We deliberately made one of the objects hard to reach and another object completely unreachable. We instrumented the interface to record the user's actions for later playback. We also recorded our participants' faces so we could tell if they were looking at the left or right side of the interface. Finally, we also had people fill out a survey about their experience. We found that the average person spent over 15 minutes just to put away a few objects, something that would take 10 seconds for a human to do. People spent most of their time either moving the gripper, shown here in blue, or just looking at the interface without taking any actions, shown here in gray. Another way of thinking about how users spent their time is by seeing where their eyes were looking. Because the controls are on the right side of the interface, it was not surprising to find that people spent the most time looking to the right. However, if we separate out the times when people are looking to the right because they are using a control, we can see that people spent about the same amount of time looking at both the camera and the point cloud views. Our survey results showed that people thought that the camera view was much clearer. However, neither the camera nor the point cloud views were helpful for judging depth or reachability. For example, in the camera view, the arm can still obstruct the view of the table. In general, our results suggest that people had a hard time using the point cloud view to see objects and their locations. While the camera view was clearer, it didn't contain enough information for people to grab objects effectively. Only 40% of the user's time was spent actually moving the grippers to try and grab something, so better object perception would be a big help in this interface. For the other 40% of the time, having a more natural or automatic way to move the arm could help speed users up and make teleoperation more feasible in the future.